and his opponent. He weighs in at 175 pounds, the state of Austin Bush, Iowa. Sorry. The New Age Flag, ready to hashtag infect the world. This man debuted in IWC at the age of 18 in 2004. Since then, super indie champion, multiple time tag team champion. He's all over the IWC highlight reels throughout history. A risk taker, a tenacious athlete, and in recent years, as you can see, bloodthirsty as well. As you said, he's been here since the age of 18, and I knew him then. And it's hard to believe that this is the same person that I met that many years ago. A, a complete metamorphosis. A metamorphosis, an evolution. Corey went from quiet and unassuming to ferocious and bloodthirsty. But one thing that has always existed is Gory's uncanny athleticism. He has always been a top-notch competitor in the ring. He just quit caring what anyone else thought about it. And this is the result. Gory has not been a regular part of the IWC roster in three or four years. We've seen him in and out a number of times inflecting, infecting IWC with his brand of terror. But it seems he always vanishes just as mysteriously as he appears. If Gory wins the Super Indy Championship, we may be seeing a lot more of him. Very true. And wow, even the Vuvuzela guy is a little intimidated by Gory. And to your point, Farnsworth, uh, Palace knows about Gory, certainly does his research, he does his studying, but uh, to be in the ring with somebody who really doesn't care about the art of competition, Gory will just as easily bite the flesh off of your head as he will grab a hammerlock. Absolutely. It's, it really forces you to widen your defense. You can't sit there and think, oh, well, let's see what, uh, what complicated hold he's going to grab. Because he might. He very well might. He is an accomplished wrestler. But he may just as easily drive a thumb three inches into your eye. It's, there is no concern about you walking out of that ring. It is, it is, you are his enemy at that point, and that is all that matters. Andrew Palace spent much of 2015 against the grain pursuing Dylan Bostic. There we go. And there you see that animalistic nature. And a lot of ardent vocal supporters for Andrew Palace here in IWC. And how would you gauge how Andrew Palace has represented Super Indy compared to a guy like Gory of years past? I think he has sort of held it up as a, a loft. I think he has brought a lot of honor to that title. I don't know if that's necessarily what Gory's goal would be if he had the title. Some use it as a way to elevate themselves, elevate the title. Others use it as bait for their trap. Yeah, I think Gory, nice overhead arm drag by Palace. Palace coming off here very sharp and crisp in the early going. Nice standing drop kick as well. I think Gory's main uh, objective, if he wins this title, other than personal and selfish reasons, is to just prevent everybody else from achieving their dreams of being Super Indy Champion. I think it's so that he knows that someone will come after it, and that gives him someone else to destroy. Triple spring into the arm track. Gory's had amazing body control his entire career. He can use his frame as an offensive weapon. Hurricane Rana takeover. Palace lands on his head. It's I was going to say, you notice Gory didn't go for a full head scissor. He got one leg under the arm, and it sort of guided his, guided uh, Palace down onto his head as opposed to being able to roll through like a lot of uh, a more lucha style work. Yeah, he was able to trap an extra appendage to get the advantage. Oh, what Palace! No trap there! Palace goes suicide dive! I think Palace understands the task that's in front of him now. He's wanted to pull out a few more stops. Beautiful dive. Cope Suicida. 
as our friends south of the border would call it. And Palace is feeling it. Palace a two-time Super Indy champion. I believe Gorey only once with that title. And now Gorey to the twist on God! But Gorey turns his body into a projectile with every revolution, more momentum upon impact. Did he get a full revolution there? It almost felt like several, didn't it? I, because he didn't start turning until he was already diving. That was absolutely impressive. We're gonna go springboard. Palace a step ahead. Tilt to world backbreaker. Into the cover, two and no. Palace has beaten some very prolific Super Indy champions. We mentioned Dylan Bostic. We can also mention Facade, RJ City, a number of others. Palace has represented Super Indy very well. Snap butterfly suplex. I am turning it into a hip toss at the end. I believe uh, Gorey held that Super Indy Championship when he was just about 20 years old, 20 or 21. He held a number of tag team champions. We mentioned back suplex. Couldn't get that third butterfly, so adopt, adapt, and improve. Into the cover, hook of the leg, two and no. I don't know that I'd give him the chance to get up. Well. Palace aim not to, but that distance allowed Gorey to explode. All you need to do is give Gorey an inch, and man, he can completely change the dynamic. He is so quick, and perhaps no one in IWC history, as Gorey fights too, nobody has such fluid motion in that ring than Gorey. Absolutely, absolutely smooth, absolutely fluid in that ring. And now grounding Palace, and Palace has proved he can catch Gorey off guard as well in this contest. Gorey, we just see that just ferocious nature of him. That, that thirst for blood and pain and destruction. And that wish to spread it. I think Andrew Palace has a little bit of a, a little bit of rage built up in him as well. Gorey doesn't talk about hashtag infect the world for nothing. And notice how Gorey aims his target behind Palace. It's all impact in the corner. Zero resistance with that with that clothesline. Oh! Oh, Gorey usually springs in with the elbow. That time the knees drives the air out of Palace for two. And you can tell Gorey thought that one could have been it. I thought that one could have been it. Just landed those knees right in the chest of Palace. How does Super Indy change if Gory wins the championship? I think everyone needs to start checking under their bed at night. I think those nightmares become a lot more real. I think uh, I think if uh, he has the belt, then I realize you know we're on the road to Super Indy. But frankly, I think everyone has to reconsider whether or not they want to be the ones facing a man of such virulence. You ain't kidding. For Super Indy 15 coming up in just a few months, we'll have our first qualifying matchup later in this broadcast. What was your first Super Indy, Joe? Super Indy 2, Colt Cabana overcame Match Striker in the finals. I think mine was three, but I wasn't uh, I wasn't uh, working commentary yet. I was being used in other capacities. Palace. Oh! A oh, wet neck breaker. Gory hung up. And the, Gory's neck absorbed the brunt of that impact. His lower body had nowhere to go. Jeez. And, a die, and now he just picks him right out of that. And Corey gets hungry again. Oh, nice. Gory has only got, oh God! Shotgun drop kick by Pounce. Palace into the cover. This could do it. 
No. The tenacity of Gory. We've seen it throughout the years since his very first match. Him and DJZ, fresh off of turning 18, all the way to present day. Gory has always had the heart of a champion. He has, he has always. I don't know of anyone else that has been able to absorb punishment as well as Gory does. Or at least stand up after it happens. I'll tell you what though, pal. Oh. QAS! QAS! New champion! No! Oh. You talk about withstanding punishment! Andrew Palace after that, he might be on that list with Gory. Yeah, very true. We have seen him win quite a few matches with the QAS. Oh, dozens at least. But and he's only gotten better at it. He dropped him square on the back of his neck. Yeah. Whiplash like effect on the impact as Gory. Double stop coming, no! Came down awfully on that ankle. And Palace! Oh, what a gut check this is, center ring. And both went down. We're talking about a gut check. Here it is. Who's got the wherewithal to get to their feet first, Joe? Oh, what a hell of a match to kick off the 15-year anniversary of the International Wrestling Cartel. I've been here for 13 of the 15, and it keeps on getting more competitive. This is Palace wanting to keep his title versus Gory wanting to hurt the world that hurt him. What, what fuels them more? Hell, even the referee CJ was a Super Indy 1 participant. We got a lot of history in this match. I don't know who you give the edge to in a striking game. They're neck and neck, boy, with a roll up. Near fall. You would give a, a slight strength advantage to a Palace. But honestly, those strikes that uh, Glory hits, they're quick and they hurt. Oh, without question. And you know there's malicious intent behind them. Great back and forth pinning combinations here, Glory and Palace, one after the other. Oh, it's a game of inches, it's a game of seconds. He's trying to get the advantage. Back in. Gory able to duck out of the way. Come back with a long ball. Palace out on his feet. Gory signaling you this is the end. Yeah, this could be trepidation. If Gory hits this, it's over. No. Palace reverses. And Gory. Oh, Gory couldn't get all of it. They want to package him up. Notice Palace squirm free, came low to the ground to prevent Gory from making an impact on that pile driver. Well, I figure Palace was probably looking for that, was probably expecting the pile driver, trying to get out of it. Gory ignores it, just goes straight for the pin. I think Palace just saved his own championship. Yeah, though. absolutely. Now Palace goes roll up. Oh no. Hangs on, party a driver!
But certainly Andrew Palace is well in the crosshairs. 